Hey everybody, this is Brian Hool with Beyond 20. I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about a little gotcha that I ran into configuring Slack integration in Sharewell Service Management 10. For those of you who haven't seen the other video, Sharewell version 10 has Slack integration now. You can configure Slack as a third-party chat tool, have chat channels, private chat channels launched from within Sharewell, within given tickets. It's very cool, but when I was setting it up, the Sharewell end of it is, is easy, but there's one thing that I missed for longer than I like to admit, and it is in the form arrangement area of the administrator tool. I was setting up Slack on the incident form, so here I am, and I've already activated related item navigation on this business object. What I wasn't paying attention to, so I had chat set up like this. Uh, I was checking the chat tab for configuration and I was like, well, you know, it would, boy, it's not showing up. The instructions are pretty clear in the Sharewell documentation. I had everything set up right on the Slack side. So what I finally noticed was if you go to related items like this, uh, you'll notice that by default it is disabled. So you have this kind of eye the slash through it, so that means it is not visible. So once I uncheck that, I was able to see the Slack. I was able to see that chat tab on the related item navigation. So just a quick tip, something to pay attention to if you're running into problems with your Slack configuration. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more Sharewell videos. Thanks.